I look like, such a state, um, <laughs> I look like an eggplant. Like, me, an eggplant. Yeah, it works, doesn't it? Um, anyway, hey folks, today's video is going to be something that I've been avoiding filming for a while. Um, I've had so many requests to do this video, I honestly was so confused. Um, and I've kind of just like put it off because it's something that I feel like I'm not qualified to talk about, in all honesty. Like, I don't think that I am qualified to give advice on this topic. However, I've been thinking about it and I came to the conclusion that I'm gonna film a video, I'm gonna talk about my own personal like experience or like my side of the story and you can take from it what you will. It is definitely not a do this kind of video. It's just what I did. I mean, some of these things must have worked because I ended up getting like an amazing grade for how badly my year went. But there are still things in this video that I would do differently. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. But yeah, this is just how I did it. And I haven't even mentioned what this video is. You can probably tell from the title. It's how I made my notes this year. And like how I used my iPad to make notes. How I made revision notes. Like how I actually revised. Before we get on to this video, I wanted to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes and they are literally about anything and everything. Whatever you might want to learn is probably on Skillshare. So there's business, animation, design, um, literally so many different things, photography, languages, it, the list goes on and on and I really love this platform because it has all this knowledge and all these learning resources all in one place, easy to access, you can use it just to learn something that you wanted to learn for a while just for fun or you can use it to further your career etc etc and I have actually been eyeing up, which is relevant to this video, stuff to do with iPads because I have an iPad and I bought it like a year ago I think um, for you actually no two years ago and all I've really done on it is like the basics I barely really use it for any of like the cool features that you can actually do on an iPad and I really want to like learn more about what you can do with it and learn about some cool apps possibly that help you get the most out of your iPad so you can get premium membership which gives you unlimited access to all of the classes for free for the first two months if you click the link in my description box and then after that it's less than ten dollars per month which I think is amazing so yeah if you want to check out Skillshare if you're interested go click the link in my description box and without further ado let's get straight on into the video so how I use my iPad to make notes um, my program of choice is OneNote um, I like it because it allows me to sync all of my work across all my devices because as I mentioned I have an iPad but the rest of my devices are all like my laptop is not a Mac and my phone is Android so obviously getting an application that can only sync across Apple devices which several of them do is useless to me um, so OneNote just allows me to use it on anything I want um, which is why I use it. The other option that I wanted to use was Notability because it's a really really great app, it's really easy to use, it's better than OneNote in my opinion for like note taking, however that is an Apple only device, not device. Organisation wise, within OneNote I created obviously notebooks, so I created one for each module, so the main ones that I had were biochemistry physiology and anatomy but I also had all like my little side modules so I had preparing for patients, the ethics and statistics modules on there um, and within each notebook I would create folders for all the different types of work that I might want to put in there so I had folders for for example lecture notes, I had folders for notes notes, I had folders for supervisions, for practicals and for like exam papers if I had any or for ethics I had like seminar, readings, 
that I had to do a folder for that. Um, so yeah, my folders were just to separate out the different types of work that I was doing. And then within each folder, I would have all of like my actual notes in order of the course and like how the course progresses. So for my lectures, I would have a system. I had a system guys. I'm, I was a bit organized this year, but what I would do is import the handouts and slides from the lectures into OneNote as printouts in separate documents and I would organize them so the handout always came first and then I would put in the slides. Um, if there was just one handout for a whole lecture like series, then I would just have handout all the slides in separate documents. Um, and it was just like organized in that way so it's really easy for me to like go back and find stuff um, the main thing that I love about OneNote is that it just allows you to literally have everything in one place I love organization um, even though I was a bit of a mess this year I still like keeping everything organized keeping everything together being able to access things across all of my devices whenever I need it it was there yeah I would insert everything as a printout there were also other documents that I would put in so as I mentioned readings would go into OneNote and like practical debrief sheets just any like sheet that we got electronically that I thought might be useful to have I would insert into OneNote. On to how I would actually make my notes. Firstly, I'm gonna talk about lectures. So during lectures, I would annotate my lecture slides that I had inserted into OneNote on my iPad. Really easy to do if you have the Apple Pencil. It's really convenient because you can literally write anywhere you want on the lecture slides, whereas if you're typing, it's harder to like get into the nooks and crannies of like if you wanna annotate like one specific part of an image or something. It did make it easy to follow along with the lecture. I mean, easy. Um, I got lost many a time in a lecture, but it made it easier to like know what's going on just because the lecture slides are obviously on the screen. So you can like sync it, you know vaguely what they're talking about. And then for my proper notes. So these, I, I had phases. So for the notes that I made on my iPad, what I would do is I would highlight the lecture handouts. I would go through, highlight any key phrases that I wanted to stand out. So for example, if I were quickly scrolling through, those were the things that I wanted to see if I was like skimming. Um, and I would add any annotations from my own notes, from the lecture slides. Um, just to make a complete document because as I said I like everything to be in one place and I would add any pictures so either from the lecture slides if they weren't in the handout already or from the internet if I felt like something needed a bit more explanation and it would make sense for me to add a picture to like further my understanding of it and inserting pictures is really really convenient on the iPad I'm not sure whether OneNote does it but I know that Notability, you can split screen the internet and Notability and literally just drag a picture over and it inserts it and it's honestly brilliant. I would just create these fully annotated notes that I could then use for revision. Um, initially, I did do these on paper. So I think for one lecture series or possibly two, I did this on paper and then realised that it would just make so much more sense for me to do it on my iPad because then I could access it everywhere. And what I actually did, this is the extent to which I like everything to be in one place. I used Adobe Scan um, to scan in my notes that I had already made on like paper for some of the modules. And I then inserted those scans as printouts into a OneNote document so that I had all the lecture series, like all of my notes that I had made all together in one place because I am so paranoid that I'm going to like lose my sheets or ruin them somehow and then they're going to be useless and I'm going to have no notes so I just want to have like backup copies everywhere. The only real exception was anatomy because our dissection manual which is where most of the information was was way too like wordy and long-winded to use as revision notes so I started initially by making my notes on OneNote. So I would type out the notes on my computer um, and it was really, really great because you could sync it, at, like you could use the iPad and the computer at the same time. So especially for anatomy, diagrams are so, so, so important. Um, so you could either like draw in your own diagram if you couldn't find like a good one online or something. 
um, whilst you are actually typing out notes because for me typing is faster than writing um, or you could like insert a picture and drag it around with an Apple Pencil on the iPad whilst you're doing your typing um, which is a lot easier than trying to like position it on my laptop because I found that like it wouldn't get in the right place. Um, the structure of these notes was similar to my A-level notes in that I would just do bullet points but that's pretty much how I made revision notes electronically this year. So for anatomy I did end up just ditching that because it was taking too long and I just wrote them out on like a blank sheet of paper because I could like squidge all of the information and it was just easier for me to do it on paper at that point especially because I was running out of time. For my actual note taking method honestly I, I just wrote stuff out like writing things out helps me remember it so I just wrote out the key points of um, the dissection manual or like the lecture notes or whatever so in that respect I feel like I can't really <laughs> help you in like explaining what I did but I will obviously have had overlays throughout this video so you can hopefully see kind of what it looks like honestly at that point there was no system to what I was doing I was just writing for the sake of it but yeah nothing really special to be honest this year with my note making which is like I still don't know what's going on because I don't think it was the best use of my time um and the lecture handouts like yeah they're great but they're still a lot more long-winded than you need so next year we have a plan in place ladies and gents I don't know whether it's gonna work out but what I want to do is to copy and paste this is what someone did this year like one of my friends um, and I think it's like a great system to use honestly copy and paste the text from the lecture handouts into a document so I'm probably gonna use OneNote again just because it is easy to sync rather than something like Word um, and just go through it and remove the unnecessary portions just leave like the bare minimum just the information itself rather than all the like in between random waffle um, and then go to the lecture with this pre-done we're really being ambitious here aren't we and in the lecture on my laptop rather than my iPad type in any like information that she or he the lecturer says um, and stuff from the PowerPoint if I can like keep up with that um, and then have this like comprehensive set of typed up notes by the end of it that is probably a lot more useful to me than going through lecture handouts and reading pages and pages and pages when that could really be cut down quite drastically and put into my own words so it's easier for me to remember and then obviously like insert pictures into that whatever but I feel like that might be a better system as well and I ended up starting to type in lectures in Easter term and it was honestly so much faster for me than writing out on an iPad even though the iPad has its perks, for me personally, I find that I am way too like perfectionistic to like write on it or like to write proper notes on it because where if if something doesn't like get written quite as neatly as I would like, I end up just rubbing it out and doing it again. And if it's still not right, I do it again. And honestly, I spend so much time rubbing out and fixing stuff if it's not exactly perfect. And that is honestly such a waste of my time. So I feel like typing is just a better idea for me personally in some areas. Some stuff about other notes that I took. So in supervisions, I would initially write them out on paper until I realized that I was being really stupid because I could be using my iPad and then everything would be in one place on one note. Um, so then I started using my iPad again towards the end I started typing and that will mean that I actually pay more attention in like supervisions and lectures and stuff except for anatomy supervisions because we still have head and neck anatomy next year so this year we did like everything below and next year we have head and neck so still going strong with that anatomy <laughs> strong um, but it's really useful to do it on an iPad for that because you can draw diagrams really really easily if you want to like draw a circle you can do ink to shape and then it'll be just like so much neater than if you were drawing it out on paper. Notability I did use for bits and bobs this year so I used it initially for essay plans in first term because it's honestly so easy to just 
jot stuff down like in an essay plan and you can just get stuff, move it around, you can colour code, it's so easy on an iPad. However, I did stop doing that eventually and started typing them out just because then I could turn my plan straight into an essay and when you're doing essays at 1am, it's really about the timing. <laughs> Notability, as I mentioned, is in my eyes easier to use. It's less like complex and it has more options for actual writing because that's what it's designed for rather than OneNote, which is kind of a sharing Microsofty kind of app. I also use Notability for like blurting type purposes. So I drew random diagrams on it from memory when I was trying to remember them for like anatomy and stuff. Um, so it's really good to use for that because again you waste so much less paper if you just do it on a document and you can always keep those blurts um, and look back on them, look at what you missed, you can do it in different colours really easily. Like. It's great really. Another app that I used this year was Quizlet. Um, I made flashcards for ethics and statistics. So ethics, I did case study flashcards to remember all of like the cases or like literature and what it was actually about. For statistics, I just put the whole course into flashcards and that's how I revised mainly for those two modules. And then also for anatomy, the people in the year above had already made flashcards so I just used their flashcards and it was really easy and very convenient as well to have an iPad in that case um, because I could be revising on my laptop or at that point I think I was writing out my notes on paper from my laptop like dissection manual and every so often I would stop go through the flashcards on my iPad, they were like just open there and I could check whether like I was actually remembering any of the stuff that I was learning so yeah Quizlet is great obviously. I feel like I just keep talking about how great an iPad is but I have been asked a lot to talk about how I use my iPad and like what I think of having an iPad so that's what I'm trying to do like I don't really see any downsides to getting an iPad for uni except for the fact that it's really, really bloody expensive. Um, so if you can afford it, which I bought my own iPad, like I had saved up a lot of money through my job, so like I bought my own, it was my choice. But if you don't want to spend money on an iPad, like you don't need one, like you can get by, you can do a lot more than get by in uni without an iPad, it's a nice thing to have, it does make things a little bit easier in some cases but you absolutely do not like need one and just giving the advantages of an iPad in this video just in case like you wanted to know how it can be useful at university. So anyway, that is this video, I honestly don't know what this is gonna turn out like. I feel like I've just been talking crap for 40 minutes straight but if you found this in any way useful do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe to my channel for more fun university contents and to see whether I actually stick to you know the plan that I made for note taking and see how my second year goes so yeah go click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Social media is in the description box so you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And that's it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!